that it says come to and and shame on America, the United States of America. At 63, Rose Brown has vision problems and her fair share of aches and pains. But what really hurts, she says, is thinking about where her country is headed. I thought it was of the people, by the people, for the people. Have we changed on that? Brown was recently laid off and now waits, along with 5,000 other people, to see a doctor at a free medical clinic in Los Angeles. It's a line which seems to never end. This morning, thousands of people lined up extra early in hopes of receiving free medical care. This is just a fraction of the tens of millions of Americans who still have no sort of medical coverage. Nationwide, more than 16% of the population does not have health insurance. This free clinic attempts to fill the void in America's broken health care system. I think looking at this, uh, you can see that there's something horribly wrong with our health care system. Thousands of medical volunteers provide everything from dental fillings to mammograms. Dr. Tung Chong has volunteered in some of the poorest countries in the world, but now sees the desperate need here at home. Same thing. That's, uh, it, it, I don't have to go all abroad to do some uh, good work. Uh, he also needs help. Affordable health care has been one of the demands of Occupy Wall Street. Until our educational systems are dealt with, until access to, uh, to health care and food and shelter are actually available to every citizen, we have no intention of stopping. Back at the free clinic, it's not just the most impoverished who are lining up for help. Many here have advanced degrees and jobs, but aren't offered insurance at work or can't afford the deductible. Health care is a human right. People are entitled to be able to know that they're, if something happens to them, that they're not going to go bankrupt. Jenny Chung has an English degree and works as a data entry clerk. She blames Wall Street corruption and excessive military spending. We're taking, we're taking money away from people that need it, like everyone that's in line over here. Most families can't wait for health care reform. Chris Bonilla is a cook at a family-owned restaurant which does not offer health insurance. He has dealt with pain for years, even coughing up blood. Bonilla has few options to get expert attention. People can't afford things, you know what I mean? And I want to be around for my son and my little girl that's on the way. So I want to be around a little bit longer than before I go anywhere else. <laughs> Despite being the world's richest nation, nearly 45,000 Americans die yearly because they lack health insurance and can't get good care. Rose Brown hopes the nation's care. elites see do these long lines care. and take notice. Do, do you really care, those people up there in those high places, that we, the, the smaller people, are paying for your amenities? Whether or not those in power care. hear her, Brown is hopeful. And, and, and I am so happy to see that the, the masses are taking it to the streets. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT.